What's going on YouTube? Jolly from JollyTheMarketer.com here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you the organizational sheet that I use for my YouTube videos. So if you want to get uh, started with YouTube and you don't know what type of topics that you should be filming on, this sheet will allow you to kind of see a broader a scope of things so that you can get an idea of what you should be filming. But before we get into that, definitely subscribe and hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video. Check out my Instagram, at JollyTheMarketer, and also check out my blog, blog.JollyTheMarketer.com. Um, I'm doing a lot of different things on those different uh, networks, so definitely follow me on both of those, okay? So let's get right into it. So this is the sheet right here on your screen. Uh, it's my YouTube organizational sheet, and it's separated by uh, a few columns. So the, the first column is topic ideas. So in this column, I just put uh, the different topics that I may want to film a, a video about. So if it's going to be about YouTube ads, it's, if it's going to be about active campaign, if it's going to be about just motivational speaking or just what topic idea I I'm going to be speaking about. Now, this is sep this is different from the title, okay? So I, I think about the topic and then I create the title for the actual video before I upload the video. So I everything is pre-planned, right? This just gives it uh, the process a bit easier when it comes to uploading. So uh, I actually recently hired a video editor and an uploader. So what he does is he will sometimes come in here, maybe write some topics. I come in here, write some topics, um, and then I just film them. I send the file, the video file over to him. Them, and he cuts and chops and you know adds in the call to action here so it all starts with the topic idea you want to get a topic idea and the topic idea uh, should be uh, relevant to your channel right so if your channel is about tutorials or if it's about motivational speaking or makeup or whatever the the case may be you want to get a topic idea that is in line with your current audience okay this is going to really help people identify you but also identify the brand and what they can look forward to in the future right so just kind of keep the topics very similar in in terms of your brand okay now the tutorial column is basically saying um, is this a tutorial? Is this a tutorial, right? Yes, no. Is my computer going to be shown? If if it's not, then it's just going to be me speaking to the screen, right? Just gives my editor a little bit more clarity. And then this is the title. Okay, so this will change obviously a few times before I film. And by the way, the gray means that I'm going to film it. Um, and then this X means that it's been created. So the gray means it's filmed, the X means it's created and it's going to be uploaded. Okay, so this is me that it's not actually uploaded or created until there's an X here. All right, so the gray just means that it's a future video that I intend to film, right? So for example, this video here, the, the topic idea was how to get motivated. Okay, it's not a tutorial, the title, depression to impressions, how we went from depressed to success, okay? And it's gonna be talking about motivation and how I was, you know, super depressed and this is a true story, super, super sad, just not really um, living life to the fullest, just always thinking about death pretty much and wanting to die and I hated life, right? Like, so how, how did I turn that into something of, you know, I'm a positive person, I really love being here, I love talking to people, I love interacting with people, I just love life, right? So how did I change that, right? So that's the title, but I'll start from the idea of it. And then on this column here, uh, it's a call to action. So what is the call to action going to be? If, it, if it's going to be an affiliate link, right? I will put the link here. If it's going to be just um, a link to a Facebook group or just a link to an Excel sheet, I'll put that here. Therefore, it just gives more clarity of where the links are going within the description, okay? And then if I have for my editor, I have a video link area um, here. So like if the video is uploaded to my Google Drive, which it does, it gets uploaded to Google Drive, he goes in there, he downloads it, he then edits, and then he uploads to YouTube, okay? So we're still kind of getting this process down pat, but it always starts with this video organizational sheet. I have different versions of the sheet. This is the most current version. It started with uh, actually Spencer Meekum. He actually, in his course, he, his course is amazing. So if you guys don't know who that is, check him out. He, he's really uh, an amazing affiliate marketer and, and really cool guy. So he, in his course, he um, went over like how he organized organizes YouTube videos and it was a few months ago um, where he actually went over that and I was like well that's really genius so I kind of just put my own spin on things and this is what it is so I'm gonna give you guys this actual sheet I'm gonna give you a copy of it just click the link down below um, and then you can get access to this sheet and you can start using it this is really really a great way to really get your ideas down because 
if you don't if you don't have an idea it's really hard to kind of get in the mood or get in the zone to film a video I find that when I have an idea and I have this all laid out already I can just go in here and be like hey all right this is what I want to uh, create a video about YouTube ads explain I know exactly where what I'm gonna say how it's gonna be laid out the title everything it just gives me a bit more clarity and this will definitely help you when it comes to your YouTube video so it's not uh, this video is not gonna be super long I just wanted to show you how I'm organizing my videos how I'm able to push content out so quickly um, it's just it starts with this and I could just keep making titles and keep making topic ideas and keep going and I can have videos for months and months and months right uh, my other sheet I actually have uh, even more content so I'll, I'll pull stuff from there pull it here and boom I'm done okay so it's better to be organized because it just gives you a bit more clarity and this goes for all your business endeavors you want to be organized when it comes to your plan so therefore it'll be easier to actually put those plans in motion okay so guys if you want this video organizational sheet click the link down below you'll get access to it thank you guys so much for watching uh, definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed leave a comment down below if you have any uh, comments or suggestions I'd love to interact with you guys as you know and check me out on instagram at Chilean the marketer check out my blog blog .com. thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video